Hello and welcome to the webinar. Today, we will talk about the latest discoveries in epitransectomics using new M6A profiling technologies. In recent years, with the technological advances, there have been a rapid growth in epitransectomic research. Here, we will briefly review the M6A epitransectomic landscape from coding mRNA to non-coding link RNA. Then we will share with you the latest discoveries of M6A epitransectomics in cancer, cardiovascular, and COVID-19 diseases using array star technologies. We will introduce new powerful tools for better M6A profiling and the research roadmap ahead. Among the RNA modifications, M6A is the most prominent epitransectomic modification on mRNA. As shown in these immunoblots, M6A modifications are broadly present in all tissues and are developmentally regulated from embryo to adult. The M6A modification is usually installed in the DRACH or more narrowly RRACH motif sequences, where D stands for the base a, G, or U. R stands for A or G, and H stands for A, C, or U. On average, there are about three to five M6A sites per one kilobase length of mRNA. These modifications are enriched around the stop codon in mRNA or in the last exon in link RNA. M6A sites are often in the locations of mRNA where many regulatory features reside. For example, splicing, microRNA binding, translation, and stability. Not all DICH sequences are actually modified in the cells. Only about 20% of DICH sequences are known to be modified. Therefore, Additional M6A codes slightly outside the DICH also help to determine the modification specificity. Enzymatically, M6A modification is installed by writers such as metal 3, 4, 14 methyl transferases, RBM, WTAP, Muama, and ZC3H13. The M6A modification is reversible. It can be erased by ALK-BH5 or FTO by deoxygenases. First hydrox hydro hydroxylated into HM6A, then carboxylated into formula F6A, and finally decarboxylated back into a modified adenine A. The M6A modification is recognized by different readers to do its molecular functions. In the nucleus, YTHDC1, or serine arginine splicing factor, SRSF2, can read listen RNA transcripts and determine the alternative splicing. HNRNPC and HNRNPG can read M6A in RNA stern loop structure acting as M6A stretch. YTHDC2 can regulate the RNA nuclear to cytoplasmic export. IGF2 BP can stabilize newly transcribed and modified RNAs that are otherwise quickly decayed by exonucleases degradation. Additionally, HNRNP APA2B1 and DGCRA are the components of pre microRNA processing. In cytoplasm, YTH family readers can destabilize RNAs and cause RNA decay. During cell differentiation, M6A marked degradation is an important mechanism of rapid changeover of the old transcriptome to new transcriptome. IGF2BP proteins can stabilize RNAs and prolong RNA half-lives. 
ERF translation initiation factors as the reader can promote translation and efficiency. YTHDF1 can enhance protein translation in 3' UTR by forming a non-covalent loop with the 5' end cap, along with poly A binding protein PABP and the translation initiation complex. The M6A sites can be present in the RNA sequence in single, multiple, or clustered formation. More than 70% of the sites are single M6A modification sites. A single M6A site in 5' UTR can recruit translation initiation factor EIF3 and 14S ribosomal subunit to start protein translation, even without a 5'M7G cap normally required for mRNA translation. As in the case of capless heat shock protein HSP70 mRNA translation during heat shock stress response. The single M6A sites in the coding sequence can slow down translation elongation and alter the co-translational protein folding maturation. A single M6A site near the stop codon can lead to mRNA degradation and decay by YTHDF2 reader. A single M6A site in the 3' UTR can bind IGF2BP2 or SOX2 to stabilize the mRNA for increased protein production. M6A epitranscriptomy modification is not limited to mRNA. Non-known coding RNAs or linked RNAs can also be modified. Among the different RNA modifications, M6A is ranked the most common linked RNA modification. Unlike mRNA, the M6A site distribution in linked RNA is relatively even across the RNA length. That is, there is no stop codon to be concentrated around with. One mechanism of M6A in function unrelated to protein translation is acting as M6A switch to turn on and off the HNRPC reader binding. M6A modification of link RNAs is, fun is functionally active. For example, M6A link RNA exists is well known to silence X chromosome while YTHDC1 reader. In cell differentiation, M6A link 1281 can act as microRNA LET7 sponge to increase the target link 28 mRNA protein levels, which induces stem cell differentiation. In immunity, M6A link RNA DPF3 RNA is destabilized. HIF 1 alpha, HIF 1 alpha without link RNA DPF3 binding is deactivated and allows the dendritic cells to migrate from skin to lymph nodes to exercise immune response. Clinically, M6A dysregulation is involved in many human diseases in all major systems. In particular, M6A is closely associated with cancers. For example, in cancer stem cell function, the M6A ADAM19 and FOXM1 in glioblastoma multiform GBM, M6A MIG in acute myeloid leukemia ML, M6A NANOG, CLIF4, HIF RNAs in breast cancer. In cancer metastasis function, the M6A YAP and YTHDF2 in pancreatic cancer. In cancer cell proliferation function, the M6A SOX2 or M6A HBXIP in liver and breast cancers. Now we have come to appreciate the exciting epitranscriptomics in biology and disease. Arrays start 
M6A profiling technologies are powerful tools in epitranscriptomic studies. Here, we would like to share some latest M6A epitranscriptomic discoveries using array star technologies. In M6A epitranscriptomic profiling, there are two key measurements, M6A RNA abundance and M6A modification stoichiometry. RNAs from our genes are the sum of unmodified and modified RNA molecules. M6A RNA abundance concerns about the M6A RNA abundance regardless how much the unmodified RNA counterpart it is. Whereas modification stoichiometry or the percentage of modified RNA concerns the relative proportions of the modified versus unmodified RNAs for that transcript, regardless of the M6A absolute abundance. Both the abundance and the percent modification are important information in epitranscriptomic profiling. Although absent in older profiling methods, M6A modification stoichiometry is functionally meaningful. Whether an M6A can exert the function of RNA splicing, RNA translation, or RNA decay depends also on its percentage of modification. If it is for RNA decay, a small percentage of M6A modification will not have a big impact on the overall RNA level. Only when a significant percentage of RNA is modified and degraded does the RNA level change significantly to show the effect. However, if it is, the RNA, if it is for RNA splicing, the alternative splice variants by even a small percentage of the modified RNA can emerge different effects from the background. Therefore, an actual M6A effect is contributed by both the molecular function and the percent modification. The lack of modification stoichiometry has been scientists' top concern in the field, as in the commentaries in Nature Review Molecular Cell Biology. Current transcriptome studies reveal mostly with identifying which sites are modified and not the fractions of RNA in which each site is modified. High throughput methods that can determine modification stoichiometry are needed to address these aspects of the epitranscriptome and in science. The potential effects of an RNA, mRNA modification depends on both the molecular consequences and the percentage of the transcripts that are modified. A limitation of current m 6 m profiling methods is the lack of quantitative information about the extent of modification. High throughput methods to quantify site specific M6A will considerably advance the field. In a typical M6A epitranscriptomic profiling study, the differentially modified RNAs are profiled based on their M6A RNA abundance and modification percentage using a ray star epitranscriptomic array or single base resolution MAZF array. Those candidates are usually validated by MIRIP qPCR or MAZF qPCR. M6A functions for the differentially modified RNAs can be studied by gene ontological and pathway enrichment analysis. Overexpression, lockdown, lockout of M6A writers, readers, and erasers. M6A site mutation, CRISPR DCAS9 guided metal AUGB FTO modification to observe the phenotypical changes in cell, tissue, or animal models. For M6A molecular mechanism study, transcript RNA stabilization can be studied by changes in YTHDF2 decay reader or IGF2BP stabilization reader using qPCR or reporter assays as the measurements. Translation regulation mechanism 
can be studied by YTHDF1 or 3 perturbation, ribosic for ribosome loading, and western blood. M6A as biomarkers can be studied by diagnostic ROC curves, Kaplan-Meier survival, or Cox regression for prognostic biomarkers. In these studies of link RNA M6 a modification in cancer, array star epitranscriptomic microarray was used to screen hypomethylated and downregulated link RNAs in WTAP lockdown cells. The M6 a writer WTAP is known to be associated with nasopharyngeal carcinoma. From the profiling data, one top hit link RNA. The APH1 S1 was identified. Mere qPCR indeed confirmed the reductions of M6A DLPH1 S1. qPCR measured the prolonged half life of DLPH1 S1 due to the M6A demethylation. Machine learning trend SRAMP algorithm predicted four. M6A RRACH sites in the link RNA. Recombinant mutations of these sites could in fact reduce M6A modification as measured by myriad qPCR. Further, DLPH1, S1 RNA pull down, and mass spectrometry were used to identify its interacting proteins. M6A reader IGF2BB2, an oncogenic protein, meta-adhering MTDH, were identified, which was confirmed by immunoblots with the pull-down materials and by RNA immunoprecipitation using anti-IGF2BB2 and anti-MTDH RIPQPCR respectively. The functions of the link RNAs in cell proliferation, cancer cell migration, and cancer cell invasion were established by proliferation, transfer migration, and transfer invasion assays. With the experimental data, a WTAP M6A DRS1 IGF2BP NTDH cancer pathway is constructed. That is, link RNA DAPH1 S1 is M6A modified by WTAP, stabilized by IGF2BP2, and its expression level upregulated. Link RNA DAPH1 S1 then binds MTDH that recruits oncogenic and metastatic protein LASP1, causing tumor growth and metastasis. Colorectal cancer is the second largest cancer type for both men and women. While profiling M6A epitranscriptomics in colorectal cancer tissues using a raised epitranscriptomic microarray, the up and down methylated RNAs are identified based on both modification percentage and M6A RNA abundance, as shown in these volcano plots. CRAMP3 RNAs was identified as a top hit by the percent modification and M6A RNA abundance upregulation. Lockdown of M6A writer metal 3 significantly reduced its M6A modification by mirror qPCR. The M6A site, when grafted to luciferase reported mRNA, is responsive to metal 3 regulation and can re reduce the reporter output. Further analysis of CRAMP3 downstream cascade established the M6A CRAMP3 YAP HIPPO pathway with M6A modification and less CRAMP3, the HIPPO is turned off, leading to uninhibited cell proliferation, cell migration, cell invasion, and cancer progression. Patients with higher M6A have poorer 
colorectal cancer prognosis, and survival. Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death. Using a raised star epitranscriptomy profiling of cardiomyocytes over expressing M6A eraser, ALK-BH5, YTHDF1 was found with reduced M6A modification percentage. M6A decreases YTHDF1 mRNA half-life and an abundance, as detected by qPCR quantification. In mirror qPCR, YTHDF1 protein binds YAP mRNA and increases YAP mRNA translation on Western blood. Biologically, M6A demethylations by ALKB5 eraser leads to cardiomyocyte proliferation as seen by the cell proliferation markers EDU, PH3, and Arula B by heart regeneration after heart apex resection or cardio infarction. Physiologically, M6A demethylation also improves cardio function or ejection fraction EF and fractional shortening FS on echocardiograph. In this cartoon, M6A modification fastens YTHDF1 mRNA decay, which reduces YTHDF1 protein binding and translates our YAP mRNA. In contrast, M6A erases ALKA-BH5 demethylates YTHDF1 mRNA, increases YTHDF1 to upregulate YAP protein production, leading to cardiomyocyte proliferation cardiac re regeneration, and cardiac functions. M6A is also a regulator of COVID-19 disease severity. Using a raised star epitranscriptomic array on severe, mild, and healthy COVID-19 blood samples, both M6A modification and gene expression were profiled. These genes can be classified into hypermethylated M6A and upper regulated gene expression, that is hyper up or hyper down, hypo up and hypo down in the severity comparison groups. Using disease association analysis and gene set enrichment analysis, the hyper R genes are significantly enriched in inflammatory response and cell death. On a heat map, the expression levels of all M6A regulators are evaluated between the severe and healthy groups. Among these M6A regulators, the M6A rider RBM15 expression level is top positive contributor to the COVID-19 severity in the qPCR analysis of the larger cohort of patients. The successes of these new discoveries were built upon the foundation of successful M6A profiling. Array star profiling technologies have proven the power and effectiveness of these studies. Array star epitrastomic microarray <coughs> or M6A mirror microarray is superior to a traditional mirror sequencing. In a typical workflow, M6A immunoprecipitated RNA fraction <coughs> is labeled with signing 5 red color, whereas the unbound and modified RNA fraction is labeled with green signing 3 color. Both fractions are mixed together and hybridized to the same microarray. The intensities in two color channels can accurately calculate not only the abundance of the modified RNA, but also the percentage of the RNA modification. Importantly, the microarray probes are designed to each transcript specific spice junctions or unique axon sequence, which ambiguously and precisely measure mRNA, M6A modification for each specific trans transcript isoform. So the microarray can tell 
margin transcripts are modified. The per set modified RNA for each transcript, the differential modification between two groups, coverage of mRNA and non-coding RNAs, small RNA amount requirements at about one microgram, no need for protea selections or ribosomal RNA removal as required by mirror sequencing, all these simultaneously on one array. Here are the specifications of the array star epitranscriptomic microarray contents. The epitranscriptomic microarrays cover mRNA, link RNA, and missiles long coding RNA classes of human, mouse, and rat species. Additionally, we also have circular RNA epitranscriptomic microarray that target specific circular junctions for the most sensitive, accurate, M6A modification profiling of this unusual circular RNA class. The epitranscriptomic microarray data is annotated and analyzed with M6A modification level, which is the percentage of M6A modification and M6A RNA abundance for each RNA transcript. The M6A profiles are hierarchically clustered and presented on a heat maps. The differentially modified mRNAs in comparison between the groups or conditions are collected for genes ontological functional <coughs> enrichment analysis and biological pathway analysis to gain functional insight to M6A impact on the biology and disease. Array star single nucleotide M6A microarray, or MASF microarray, is another M6A profiling technology that can profile a cross section of the epitranscriptome of the M6A sites at a single nucleotide resolution. The method is based on the unique enzymatic activity of MASF that cuts a modified ACI sequence while leaving M6A modified ACA alone. The cutting site is directly 5' prime of the modified ACA site and has single base resolution. The microarray has high sensitivity at a low RNA input amount and more tolerant for degraded RNAs such as serum, plasma, bioflate RNAs. In the M6A single nucleotide microarray workflow, the RNA sample is fragmented and equally divided into input and MASF fractions. The MASF fraction is digested with MASF enzyme, where the unmodified sites are cleaved and the M6A modified sites are left uncut. The fractions is labeled with red colored signing phi dye. The M6A MASF microarray has many benefits. That is, an orthogonal methodology for M6A detection. For the first time, M6A profiling can be done independent of M6A antibody based MIRIP. Single nucleotide resolution for M6A's M6A site location. Reliable load collection and systematical annotation. Each site has prior experimental evidence for actual M6A modification. M6A modification stoichiometry and abundance for each site. No RNA sample amount requirement as low well as 1 microgram of total RNA compared with greater than 100 micrograms for mirror sequencing. M6A profiling can now be performed on rare samples, precious pathological specimens precise histological sites, low yield salty cells, or small animal models. It is also more tolerant for poor RNA quality, for example, biofluid or FFP samples. Array star single nucleotide M6A microarray cover human, mouse, and rat species. Close to 15,000 M6A RRACA sites are collected. 
all of them are qualified either with my clip or mirror sequencing experimental data to ensure that the interrogated sequences are genuine M6A sites. The majority of the sites are about two thirds of which are single sites, with about one quarter being multi M6A sites. The spiking positive and negative control probe sets are designed to ensure the accurate quantification and data quality. The M6A microarray data are analyzed and richly annotated. They include modification style geometry, M6A location at a single base resolution, single, multi, clustered M6A sites, mRNA and link RNA coverage, 5' UTR, CDS, 3' UTR in the transcript regions, M6A sites conservation across species, DRACA motif sequence compliance. These are essential for understanding M6A dynamics and function, but not available typically for other techniques, for example, mirror sequencing. As a comparison, the conventional methylated RNA immunoprecipitation sequencing or mirror sequencing has many limitations. It cannot measure the modification stoichiometry or the percentage <coughs> of modification, which is very important information in M6A epitranscriptomics. It is also difficult to profile M6A modification to less abundant RNA transcripts or transcript isoforms due to the much lower quantification sensitivity by RNA sequencing. Furthermore, mirror sequencing requires massive amounts of RNAs of greater than 100 micrograms to do the experiment, which is not practical under many circumstances. Also, the M6A site resolution is about 100 bases by mirror sequencing compared with single base resolution by a ray star must have single nucleotide resolution microarray. With the high throughput M6A microarray data, it is common to confirm the differentially methylated RNA by qPCR based methods. In mirror qPCR, M6A modified RNAs are immunoprecipitated by anti M6A antibody and quantified by qPCR. In MASF qPCR, the M6A site is cleaved by MASF enzyme and quantified by qPCR. As we draw to a close, I hope these case studies and the roadmap can help you plan and design your own projects and make your discoveries in your own research. Thank you for attending the webinar. Please visit us at www.arraystart.com.